TikToker and YouTuber Tash Peterson took things too far. Do you have, is there permission to do this? Yes, yes, it's new. It's a Coles label, um, new to the market. And her public stunts have gotten her banned from entering her home state. The police came knocking on my door. This isn't the first time the police have come to my house to issue me with some kind of ban. She enters well-known stores like Louis Vuitton, KFC, and McDonald's to fight for her beliefs. But her actions have the public outraged. Why, why do y'all hate us so much? Like, can I not get my 250 an hour in peace? Can I come to your work and do this to you? Anyone who pushes an agenda should not be trusted. Tash has been charged. I had the state security investigation group knocking on my door and they've issued me with a charge for disorderly behavior. She's even teamed up with one of TikTok's most hated activists, that vegan teacher. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hello. Hey, Hello. mom. How you going? I'm doing great. She's ready to bear it all for animal rights. I thought you were going to be topless in this one. Very disappointed. Let's spill some tea on vegan booty. Activism is important. It can help educate and bring attention to important issues and can help unite people in the name of a shared cause. But sometimes, people can take their passion for activism too far. In the past, we've looked at vegan activist Miss Katie, aka That Vegan Teacher, and seen her interesting ways of spreading the gospel of going vegan. From singing outside of McDonald's to making videos calling out YouTubers for practices she doesn't agree with, Miss Katie's way of getting her message across has been… unique. The vegan influencer we're talking about today has a much more shocking way of sharing her message. Meet Tash Peterson, a 27-year-old animal rights activist from Perth, Australia. Tash is also known online as Vegan Booty. She wasn't always an animal rights activist. Her YouTube page used to be filled with concerts, surfing, and vacations. Around two years ago, Tash began to post videos talking about veganism. At first, her protests weren't too grotesque. She would wear a cow onesie and stand in the dairy aisle with the sign exposing the dairy industry. However, her protests grew more and more extreme. In July 2021, Tash and some other protesters went into a KFC and shocked patrons when they began to pour fake blood on the floor. The largest and longest in history is happening right now in the meat, dairy, and egg industry. Tash continued to explain the methods in which animals had their lives taken by the meat industry in graphic detail. This all happened while a screen was carried around showing graphic images of animals with sounds of animals in distress. Not long into the video, the police arrived to settle the situation. Many people didn't agree with Tash's methods. When you have a problem with KFC, why don't you go to their headquarters and address the CEO? No, instead you make the poor workers clean up after your nonsense. You are an elitist narcissist. Imagine traumatizing a bunch of children in a restaurant just wanting to have a nice meal. Freedom of speech isn't freedom to trash someone workplace and disrupt their business. KFC wasn't the only franchise she hit. She also protested at McDonald's wearing a cow onesie and carrying a sign. However, the police were already there and once Tosh went inside, they escorted her out. After nine months of pregnancy when she gives birth, her babies are almost immediately taken away from her. Tash continued to stand outside of the restaurant as patrons came out to watch her, film her, or take pictures with her. At one point, a man came forward with a sign that said, Meat is delicious, and protested in front of Tash. Tash remained unfazed and continued to protest with her sign. Some trolled in the comments that Tash's actions made them want to eat meat even more. Why do I want to have a sandwich right now? I just want to load it up with a bunch of meat and I want to drink milk and eat some steak. Damn, you want to eat a burger now with extra meat after the video. Yum. Milk. Cheese. Steak. Roast pork belly fried chicken. Yum. Others were proud of Tash for getting her message across. Great work, Tash. Love how you naturally rise above the hate. The sniggering carnists in the video will start singing a different tune when a human 
is depicted side by side to the animal one. Great work being unfazed by such characters, Tosh. You are strong for standing up for the vulnerable. Good job. In another McDonald's protest, Tash can be seen walking into the restaurant, covered in fake blood, and holding up a sign saying, McDonald's, tell them the truth. Like with KFC, the sounds of animals in distress were played as she protested. Once again, the police showed up, along with a news station who began to interview Tosh, but due to the animal noises, it was difficult to hear what Tosh said to the reporters. Tosh also did a number of protests at Louis Vuitton, protesting against the use of fur and leather. Aside from her more vulgar protests, Tosh also does some more risque ones. Tosh and a number of women protested the exploitation of animals while wearing lingerie. They called their protest a success and said the protest made more people open to talking about the cause. They did another protest where they were out in public in lingerie and ended up going topless to protest the exploitation of animals and to promote veganism. At one point, a little boy is shown walking past Tosh and her friend, shielding his eyes so he doesn't see them. Many people were disturbed by the topless protest. So y'all go expose yourselves to people, especially children? Forget the message, the method is messed up. Imagine taking your kids out for dinner and you just see some crazy vegans topless in town square. This counts as indecent exposure, which someone could take you to court over. Indecent acts in public is defined under West Australian law as any person who does an indecent act in a public place or in the sight of any person who is in a public place or does an indecent act in a police station or lockup is guilty of a crime. If Tosh were to be charged with indecent acts in public and if she were seen in front of the district court, she could face up to two years in prison. If her case was seen in the magistrate's court, she could face up to nine nine months in prison, and a 9,000 Australian dollar fine, which is around 6,700 US dollars. Some people appreciated Tasha's protesting. To all those trolls that say this is inappropriate and pointless, they are wearing underwear, which is basically the same thing as a swimsuit. It isn't inappropriate for them to take their top off in public. If fat men with bigger girls can walk around topless without being judged, then women should be able to do the same thing. This isn't pointless because this is raising awareness for veganism. Brave women standing up for a cause they believe in. Great activism, keep it up. May the thumbs of the thumb downers drop off. Tosh continued to do more risque protesting. In one instance, she dressed up as a cow, wore cow pattern bottoms, and exposed her bare skin from the waist up. She painted her exposed skin as cow print and painted her chest to look like a cow's udder. She stood outside a restaurant and tried to educate the diners on cows in the dairy industry. A waiter came out to ask her to leave, but Tosh ignored him. Not long after, a diner approached Tosh and got in her face, trying to get her to leave. Tosh pushed past the diner and continued to preach about the Australian documentary, Dominion. The documentary is a graphic look at the agriculture industry and exposes the unethical treatment of animals in different industries. The documentary is known for its raw footage of animals having their lives taken and explores the morality behind using animals for human enjoyment. Tosh uploaded another video with footage from her protest in a grocery store, once again topless in cow pattern bottoms. This time, a radio interview featuring her played while she protested. The interview talked about how Tosh had been banned from every pub in the state of Western Australia because of her protesting. 27-year-old Tash Pedersen has now been told if she steps foot in any licensed premise in the state, she could face a fine of up to 10,000 Australian dollars. Are you disappointed to be banned from every bar in Western Australia? That sounds like a pretty devastating result, really. Yes, it is. Um, they're trying to enforce a law upon me that has no relevance to my protesting. She said she didn't like that businesses were trying to silence her when she had an important message to spread. Tosh said she believed there was no reason to ban her, as her protests are not violent and she believed she was just spreading the truth. The host explained how her protesting could be seen as offensive, but Tosh shrugged it off, saying people should know the horrors of animal harm. She said she wants to be a voice for the animals. Um, these animals deserve to have a voice. They cannot speak for themselves and I am being a voice for them to create awareness about the animal suffering that is happening specifically in the meat, dairy and egg industries. Tosh then explained in graphic detail how animals are used and exploited in different industries. The host asked Tosh about her diet and Tosh explained she eats fruits, vegetables and a number of plant-based items. The host tried to tell Tosh that according to scientific research, vegetables can feel. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but did you know that vegetables 
are more than likely capable of feeling, according to science. Uh, veg- vegetables are not sentient beings. They don't have a central nervous system or a brain. We know for a fact that you, you can't all animals, say that you... human or not, have a central nervous system and they can feel pain and suffering in the exact same way that we do, if not even more extensively. We know that these animals are individuals and they're sentient beings, whereas plants are definitely not sentient beings. On March 31st, 2021, Tosh uploaded a video explaining she was fine and her boyfriend, Jack was arrested during one of the protests. Tosh and Jack were protesting in the cheese section of a supermarket and claimed the manager gave her 10 minutes to do this. Tosh continued her protest until the owner and manager actually lifted up her boyfriend, who was filming her, to make them leave. Afterwards, she left the main area and went to a smaller area in the supermarket with a Christmas display. Tosh said Jack was charged with trespassing because of the incident and she was given a disorderly fine, which she said she planned to fight. She doesn't believe she was acting disorderly. I don't believe that I was acting disorderly. If you would like to support me in court, make sure you keep updated on my Instagram page and my Facebook, and I'll be giving lots of updates as to what's happening. On April 17th, Tosh uploaded a video titled Vegans Disrupt Children's Event. In the video, Tosh and Jack approached a children's event where there were horses dressed like unicorns available for children to pet. Tosh stood on a rock bench and claimed the horses were being mistreated and used for sinister purposes. They look like they're under so much stress. As she protested, policemen on bikes arrived and asked her to step away from the horses and crowd because she was scaring the horses. They pulled her aside from everyone and said they were there because they received a complaint. Oh, we've just, we've got a complaint and we're just yeah. following about the complaint. Sure. So we're just doing okay. our jobs. Yeah, no, I completely understand. Okay. Yeah. I just have every right to question. Yeah, I understand you're doing yeah. the job. What yeah. is the complaint? The complaint is that you're acting in a disorderly manner, upsetting the people involved here, okay? Upsetting the horses, creating a, a disturbance. Tosh accused the officer of degrading her, and Jack said the horses were disturbing him. The officer gave Tosh the option to leave, but said that if she continued to cause a disturbance, he would have to intervene. Tosh uploaded a second video of her questioning the horse's owners. Disgusting, this is animal Oh, oh. You're also disgusting, you're all out of your shirt. You're putting your flowers on them and walking them around like slaves. This is blatant animal slavery and abuse. She also uploaded a 24-minute video about her protesting at the event. She said she intended for the protest to show how animals shouldn't be exploited, even for children's entertainment. According to Tosh, it didn't matter if the horses were being treated lovingly. She believed the act of them parading around was morally wrong. In another attempt to prove that using animal products is wrong, Tosh uploaded a video called Calling Out Hypocrites Who Won't Eat Dogs. In the video, Tosh pulled a publicity stunt where she gave away free samples of plant-based beef disguised as golden retriever meat. She repeatedly claimed the animal was humanely put down. Do you have, is there permission to do this? Yes, yes, it's new, it's a Coles label, um, new to the market. She was trying to show how many people are quick to eat the meat of a farm animal, but not of an animal we could consider a pet. She said she hoped to make people realize they should treat farm animals the same as they treat their companion animals. On April 29th, Tosh went on a live stream with Miss Katie, AKA That Vegan Teacher. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Hello. Hey, Hello. mom. How you going? I'm doing great. Miss Katie then introduced Tash, bringing up how Tosh would go topless for protests and paint herself like a cow. Tosh said she's always trying to be creative with her protests and explained her reasoning behind the topless protest. Why not go topless? Because that ties into a lot of links with the dairy industry, obviously the exploitation of the female reproductive system. So really putting that highlight on my own. 
um, to highlight the atrocities that are happening in the dairy industry. Miss Katie read out a question asking Tosh why she decided to become vegan. I went vegan overnight after watching the documentary Food Choices on Netflix. Just becoming aware of the atrocities that are happening in these industries and learning the impacts of animal agriculture was really was really what initially motivated me to make the change to veganism overnight. And obviously veganism is about animal rights and I definitely was more hit by the fact of the impacts that animal agriculture has on our planet. But I soon became very aware of the animal rights message and that's when I um, really knew that my entire life I was living against my own morals and values. Miss Katie also shared her own story with veganism and how at first she found herself depressed by the lack of community surrounding veganism. She said she decided she'd rather be her authentic self than try to fit in. Tosh and Miss Katie said they received a number of harmful comments online and their houses had been vandalized because of their messages. Miss Katie said she didn't believe other activists faced the same scrutiny. All this stuff. That if you were standing up for the rights of the LGBTQ community, do you think that, that you would have like that? Or if you were standing up for the dark-skinned community, do you think that you would get the hate that you do? Definitely not. Be seen as a hero. Tosh thanked Miss Katie for the work she had done for vegan activists online. But yeah. I definitely agree with disruptive activism and I think that you've done an absolutely incredible job disrupting the internet, literally. I just think you're the most powerful activist out there. I can't thank you oh. enough. Miss Katie then discussed going viral on TikTok. Found the app, TikTok, and someone said, look, you like to, you know, you like singing and whatever and check this out and do your first, first video. So I, I took my camera and I did, you know, eat your vegetable. Then someone told me, you know, shake the camera and look crazy. And then I started putting all these hashtags because I really wanted to get to the young people to teach them because I was so frustrated that in school we can't teach about veganism. So I put all these hashtags like Minecraft. I didn't even know what it was, some game. Fortnite, I didn't know what it was. But, uh, you know, like all these Roblox thing, I don't know. And then I started getting all these people coming in there and just like, what is she doing? What What's going on, right? And I was like, okay, this is good because that's the science of, um, social change. So you have to disrupt society. You have to get their attention. They then spoke about vegan phobia and how being animal rights activists have affected their personal lives. Tosh said her YouTube videos caused issues at her place of employment. I just had a few issues at work, like parents complaining about me and that sort of thing because their kids have found out who I am and told their parents. So their parents have literally tried to um, put in false complaints about me. So I lose my job basically. Um, so yeah, I just got to be super careful with that. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Vegan phobia does exist. It is the deliberate bullying of animal rights activists to try to find other ways to complain about them. Since Tosh exposes her body in her protests, she said she gets a lot of inappropriate comments on her page. Some people asked inappropriate questions, but Tosh shared how she used this to her advantage is people will message me saying like, send me or send me photos of your ass and I'll go vegan. Yeah. And then I'll reply to them and I'll say, yeah, okay, I will if you go to watchdominion.com and watch the documentary. Right. And they'll actually go and watch it and then I'll, I'll quiz them about it just to make sure that they've watched it. Yeah. And then I'll say, oh, that's great. Now go and learn how to respect women. See you later. At the end of the video, someone had commented they wanted to see the women topless. Miss Katie agreed to give the people what they want. I thought you were going to be topless in this one. Very disappointed. You want us to be topless? Is Maybe that we should have been. Yeah, you know, that's going to make them go vegan, right? Yeah. I'll go topless if you do. We take off our shirts and we end the broadcast like this. The women ended their live stream by taking their shirts off, showing only their bare shoulders on camera. Miss Katie and Tosh effectively called each other mother and daughter at the beginning of their video and had some people confused if the two were actually related. To help clear the air, Tosh uploaded a sarcastic video answering the question. What do you mean? Of course that vegan teacher is my mom. 
We may live on opposite sides of the world, but we'll always be forever mother and daughter and forever vegan. Tosh also uploaded a video identifying herself as that vegan teacher's daughter and singing a more explicit version of Miss Katie's original song, Eating Animals is Wrong. One person commented they were surprised to learn Tosh was Miss Katie's daughter. Tosh admitted they weren't related. I'm not. I was just going along with everyone on TikTok who always calls me her daughter. Tosh continued to show support for Miss Katie by posting Miss Katie's videos on her channel. Despite Miss Katie and Tosh supporting disruptive activism, Tosh's activism has had a big impact on her life. In her video, Police Ban Vegan Coming Home, Tosh explained the police banned her from flying home. If I choose to fly home, I could face a one-year imprisonment. She has also been banned from all pubs and restaurants in Western Australia, anywhere with a liquor license. Tosh said if she is caught entering somewhere, she can face up to 12,000 Australian dollars, which is approximately 8,700 US dollars, in fines. Anti police have also charged Tosh for disruption for her topless protests at Louis Vuitton. The charge meant she would have to appear in court. Tosh read out the section of what she was being charged with. It says here, in this section, behave in a disorderly manner, to use insulting, offensive, or threatening language, and to behave in an insulting, offensive, or threatening manner. Uh, then it says, a person who behaves in a disorderly manner in a public place, or in the sight or hearing of any person who is in a public place, or in a police station or lockup. A person found guilty of this offence is liable for a fine of $6,000. Tosh didn't believe her actions fit the description of the crime. Tosh said she'd received a fine after her topless cow protest and had the option to either pay the fine or contest it in court. That case is already pending in court because I'm going to be pleading not guilty to that charge. Tosh believed the cops were using false information as they had labeled her a vegan rights activist when she identifies as an animal rights activist. She read out the description of her actions written by police and noticed they emphasized that her protest had taken place around children. Tosh said children being present was irrelevant as she was trying to protect children of other species, such as calves and piglets. She didn't agree with the police's report. This is the biggest joke police statement that I've ever read. Tosh said she believed the only reason she was charged with being disorderly was because she was topless. It's really interesting to me that the only times I have been charged for disrupting a restaurant, supermarket, etc., is when I was topless. So this strongly suggests to me that the only reason they can get me for disorderly is because I'm a woman and I decided to be topless when I protested. Tosh said it was ridiculous that women's bodies are still being censored, but she isn't afraid to continue protesting. You are not going to stop me from protesting. I don't care how many times I get charged. No one will stop me from speaking up about animal oppression. Tosh first appeared in court on September 13th and was back in court on October 5th. She said she planned to plead not guilty to both charges of disorderly conduct. She was interviewed outside of the court where she was asked why she chose to protest Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton are also selling fur and other animal products and I want to bring light to all of these atrocities happening. Tosh revealed that she is currently fully fan funded and is using her money from OnlyFans to pay for her legal battles and to use towards her protests for animal rights. Yeah, I'm getting roughly about $40,000 a month at the moment, so it's definitely a lot um, to put into animal rights. The reporter asked her a final question about her activism. Are you willing to go to jail for this? Definitely. I'm willing to do anything for these animals if it's going to bring, bring light to their suffering and oppression. Tosh has also been banned from online platforms. Instagram disabled Tosh's account at 31,000 followers. She claimed Instagram was too sensitive as she posted the same content from her Instagram to Facebook and Facebook didn't flag it. Despite calling Instagram sensitive, Tosh's bio was very intense. TikTok also banned Tosh from their platform. However, her TikTok account was later unbanned according to a YouTube video Tosh uploaded. On August 26, Second, Tosh uploaded a video called How I Got Back Home After Being Banned. In the video, she explained that after Melbourne went into its second lockdown, she submitted an application to return home to Western Australia. She said she got a call from an officer and got her application approved. Tosh said she booked the next flight out and returned home safely. To celebrate her return, she said she was going to do another disruptive protest. Now, I thought I'd give West Australia a nice little surprise that I'm back home because most West Australians were in fact celebrating the 
fact that I could not return to my home. A lot of people despise me. They view me as a public nuisance. Some people view me as a domestic And people just hate what I do so incredibly much that people were cheering and celebrating that I couldn't return home. I just thought I'd give them a beautiful surprise that I'm back by doing a disruptive protest. So I'm really excited to do that this weekend. Tosh could be considered one of Australia's top disruptive protesters if she continues. But does disruptive and aggressive protesting really help the cause? Dr. Tyler Paytas, a research fellow in moral philosophy at ACU's Institute for Religion and Critical Inquiry, believes vegans and animal rights activists are often easily dismissed as social justice warriors. Given how pervasive meat eating is in the culture, and given the strong anti-vegan sentiment that I found both in the United States and here in Australia, I think it's very easy for people to dismiss vegans as crazy, self-righteous social justice warriors that don't need to be taken seriously. Dr. Paytas understands that when someone is upset about an animal's loss of life, their first thought could be to become aggressive towards the perpetrator, but said it isn't the most effective method. In one sense, it's understandable to have that type of emotional reaction, but if someone is doing an egregious harm, the goal is to find an effective way to get the harm to stop. And I would argue that when vegan activists use extreme methods like vandalizing, intimidating, and harassing, it only exacerbates the problem. Dr. Paytas suggests promoting in a way that isn't confrontational. For him, a pamphlet he received at university university convinced him to convert to vegetarianism. This pamphlet was compelling for a few reasons. Firstly, it showed that it's not a big sacrifice to become a vegetarian. Secondly, it laid out the reasons why becoming a vegetarian was a really good thing from an animal rights perspective. And thirdly, the guy himself was friendly, and there was something that struck me as admirable about the way he dedicated his time to promote this cause, but not in a way that was confrontational or judgmental or self-righteous. Tosh is continuing to promote her activism through disruptive protests, but each video video seems to get more aggressive and more shocking. What are your thoughts on Tasha's style of protesting? Are you interested in learning more about veganism? Let me know in the comments below.